Hello, this is Sad Puppy, and today I'm gonna make a velocity arp because I need the velocity arp to become a real good piano player. So what do we need? First of all, we need a good sound, we need a good arpeggio, and we need a good synthesizer which we can use. And in this case, we use the core cross. So please join me and let's go get our velocity arp. To become a real good concert pianist, we need three things. First of all, we need a sound. Second, we need an arpeggiator. And third, we need a machine that can do it. And the third is the call cross in this case, because it has a grand piano. And I put a little bit of phaser in it and a lot of reverb. So you feel like a a big hall playing and the second thing most important thing is the arpeggiator so we can make our own velocity arp so I'll show you now how I make my velocity arp so we're gonna make the velocity arp so if you push exit again together with sequence and you get in the global then we go down to the arpeggio pattern and the first page we see is um, it's going to be eight steps long. This is the tempo, and we put it on latch, and we put out the keyboard in this case. So this one is empty, and so we now go to the next. First of all, I'm going to use it as play it running up. And then now I'm going to make it. Put it one here, one there, second. So this is going to be eight high, which means you can play up to eight notes, and they will always play in the sequence of eight. It's eight high, eight long steps. So if you put on a it will sound like this. This is because we use the running up, so it means that if you do like this, it goes on and on. It's always get into one of the eight. But if you would put it on as played as a normal, much of times all these pictures are, you get this. If you now play like this, so this is why you like to running up. And now, the only thing I'm going to change is that we need the velocity to be key because when it's a key it reacts to the key velocity and that's why we call it the velocity arp so we do this and I will play it you'll hear the difference now the last four are now not ready so I put first I'm gonna do hard soft hard soft hard the last four are the same. You could use that as you want, but I'm going to use it all as a key. You can hear it, the changes. And that's why. So you hear the difference. That's what I'm going to use today. And um, so this is about section, then we go to function, we rename it. Whatever. OK. 
Okay. And now it's done, but to be sure, I'm going to write it down because then it's in the memory. Yes. So now it's here. So this is uh, how we set up our first. So I, I set up my first um, velocity arb. This is one of the most simple ones I've exp I use this. So now we we'll go on to the next stage. So with the um, velocity arpeggio ready, we have the following uh, results. So this is our sound. And of course you can hear I uh, use a damper, which is very important to this part. I always use it, but especially with the piano, of course you use it. But lots of people don't use a damper, but you should, I think. So this is the arpeggiator without a ledge. gonna try in the last bit is that we play around the ledge or uh, the, the in the arpeggio so when this is with the ledge and now I'm gonna look for the right speed so that's why you use the ledge for and of course we have the keyboard on so we play the same so now this is with the keyboard off so now you get this typical this is what I don't want to use today because you cannot get rid of um, this arpeggio feel it's more from modern music I will show later so what we do now we're gonna use it without a ledge and we're gonna use it with the keyboard on so we are ready to go <laughs> 